Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, everyone. We are back, continuing the series of the great and mighty Hel Heliclades Empire. Uh, as we continue conquering all of our lost lands and all that we can, giving our brothers, cousins, sisters, and all that more and more land. Now we have held off for the time being on doing any more conquest as we continue with our cultural uh, work. We're still working on that achievement to get all cultural fascinations. Right now all we have left is sappers because Renaissance thought is going to pop here soon. And we don't have to worry. We are actually getting this one, which is um, so mercenaries basically. Um, for the high medieval, we're not getting any of those, which sucks. We've already got cataphracts. We're working on this, the early, uh, early medieval. And, well, unfortunately, while we're working, we need up to, uh, 48 counties to be Greek for, uh, war camels. So we're going to work on that a little bit today. We're not going to India. Uh, this is India or Southeast Asia, which we don't have any lands in. Now, we do plan to expand that direction next with our next character. But for the time being, we're just going to continue to convert and take over. Now, for War Camels, we just got to continue working on the Mid Middle East. And, yeah. But our goal, our next goal is to basically reconquer Saudi Arabia and then push against Ali and these little nations over here and then we'll push, in, push into South Africa over in the Horn and then eventually we'll come back to Spain but that'll be with our next character of course we're not doing that right now I love it when the thing just pops each time so you can see the achievements we've got mm -hmm. We do have some contracts we can modify. Haven't needed to, in all honesty. We're doing pretty well with our current contracts as they are. I mean, we've already got forced partition on most. So what I'm probably going to do is just raise their taxes a, t a tad bit. Um, to get us more money. Because that's what we care about. We can create the Empire of Italia. We're not going to. Um, yeah, no, we're not going to your thing, man. Sorry. I don't know. I know I could get that real quick. Um, I don't want... Well, actually, if our wife is orthodox, we could theoretically do that achievement real quick. There we go. Sorry, I was finishing up my pre-workout. So our wife is. And we have vassals now that are that religion. Can I? I'm gonna, okay, good. It's just, oh, can I not turn to your religion? No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, man, that's good. The only reason we're continuing with learning is just to get, A, our health as long as possible, and B, to get our um, more and more um, learning, so that way we can pump out the last of this. So, although I think we're at, I think the max you can get is like, oh, wow, we're at 45. Holy shit. Man alive. And I think we're going to get more here in a sec. Because if I remember right down the faith tree, there's one that you can get that will really push you overboard. Um, no, is it? Oh, okay. Well, that'd be great. Uh, faith creation reformation. That's nice. Um, let's do religious relations. Thank you. We are at this point where we have so much money. There's not much left for us to work on. Um... We were building churches just for something to do. 
Uh, but all of our counties have fully upgraded except for Byzantium and um, Rome. So, or Constantinople and Rome. Um, so, yeah. we're And right now we're chilling because our vassals don't like our offensive wars, really. Um, where is it? Yeah, minus 10. You have an issue with me? Yeah, I'm going to demand your conversion, buddy. <laughs> Uh, might accept. Well, we'll fix that real quick. We're going to send you a gift. And now that might will be you're going to convert. We don't take kindly to non-orthodox rulers. Yeah, I mean, our powerful vessels are doing well. Most of them like us. Um, at this point, we're 58 years old. Now, we could live for a lot longer. If we're uh, if we do this right now we are obese typically so we do have to be careful um, my intentions are pure sure we can't strengthen the bloodline and we're almost to the dynasty of many crowns I'm honestly kind of tempted because we're still in pretty good health if I remember right yeah so it's at this point that I'm kind of tempted to start pushing down and killing all these small little kingdoms um, and dukes and counts that we have over here for no reason. I know I just said, oh, hey, I'm not going to go to war, but I think it's time we start pushing them. So let's do Siege de Jour Lambs. That's fine. We're going to do a lot of wars here in a minute, which is going to kind of anger our vessels, but at the same time not, which will be nice. Um, but I think going to war with these guys will be a good idea. Just to push them out and hopefully get more lands out of them. Seize du jour. Oh, you have 15k. That's not bad. I mean, it's nowhere near our army, but, you know, hey, I respect you for it. That's the only piece of du jour I've got. Uh, let's see. How about the Abbasid Emirates? Alright, we're going to declare that. We're going to declare one you. I mean, we could take that. Uh, I'm going to take that instead. Because it'll cut you in half. You don't have many men, so we'll just do the same thing to you. 17k. Some of these guys got some big armies. Jesus. And then we'll come down there in a minute. Um, do we push on? I'm kind of tempted to push into Ishan. We could declare for duchy. Yeah. And then... We're going to push down here as well. Oh. I don't have a valid cast a spell eye against them. That's unfortunate. Alright. Well, now that we've got this... This is about to be fun. I always like fighting uh, wars in this game. It is just entertaining to me. We're going to raise the entirety of the army. I'm not worried about our money, to be honest, at this point. We have plenty. And we're going to let our armies build up. And then we're just going to start wiping people one at a time. Now, some of, the, some of them will get their armies faster than we do, which is fine. We don't mind a little bit of a war on our hands. Alright, we've got our 5k. So, I'm going to bring you... And, well, here, let's find... Who has the cannons here? Nope, not what I wanted. I want the cannon guy. God damn it. Who's got the cannons? Dun, dun, dun. All right, you've got cannons. Go there. Nope. Let's see. Oh, god damn it. I hate when I do that. Okay. And then you've got cannons. You go over there. And then... We'll send an extra bit over there in a minute. Anybody else have cannons in here? Or is one of my armies carrying... I think one of them's carrying 200 cannons. No, they're both carrying 170, so you must have... Nope, not you. Not you. You. Okay. Um, we'll come down here and wipe these guys out. Alright, we're going to send some secondary armies with each of these guys, so that way they don't have to um, get pushed... And let's see where that leaves us with our manpower right now. 
Let's start sending men down here. We're going to take 10k. Take another 5. We'll take another 5. And just to be safe, we'll take one more 5. Um, let's see. We've got 5k here. Let's go on there. We're going to send a second 5k down there. And then let our armies move a little bit. Why don't we... So I can start pushing over there as well if I need to. Um, they're pushing there. So let's grab that. We'll join them over there. And then... We could push in to their capital. Why don't we do that with 10k? And then I'm going to save the extra 10k probably and maybe come down there. Let's see what happens. All of our men are moving out. So uh, who wants to get married? Oh, me to her? Sure. Also, at this point, who's our heir? And how old is he? Hmm. And he's 35. Not bad. And he's a legendary blade master. Credit to him. Um, our grand nephew, or our grandson is going to be the heir after that, which I don't know what he's doing. Really don't care, to be honest, at this point. Alright. Let's see if where our armies are going. It looks like we're moving everyone out, which is what I like to see. We've got some battles coming up here soon, which is good. Okay. So, we will be combining some armies here. Because I want to... Kind of make sure we're not dealing with um, anything major over here. Okay. Alright, we'll wait till those guys go over there because they're going to go wipe them out. Oh, okay. Uh, we won one war. Perfect. So we can send that cannon army down here to help out with taking things quickly. They're going to get that quick enough. Uh, 400. Let's come down here and help them out. We're taking this. Oh, well, there goes the Abbasid, actually. <laughs> oh, we're going to have so much land after this. Okay. Um, never mind. So let's start down here. Uh, let's go with... There. There. We will go and fight them there. That's fine. Oh, someone's pinging me? Who's pinging me? Oh, it's just... Okay. Um, we're going to take this cannon army. And... Uh, we'll help out here. Alright, that war is done with. Again, easy win. Okay. Perfect. Um, you're down there. Now, we don't have any wars down in here right now, which is unfortunate. We do have a bunch over here. Um, let's send you there. And we're going to send... Actually, we'll send this entire 26k first to go and fight these guys, and then we'll send them up there to beat them up. Okay. All of our armies are moving out. Don't you have cannons here? I thought I gave you cannons. Did I not give you cannons? Yeah, you have cannons. Okay. All right. Keep moving out. Now, our vassals will get mad at us, but until we see a dangerous faction pop up, I don't really care. Oh, well, they're gonna... Are they running? Where are you guys going? Oh, you're both going up there. Sure. Let's go, then. I've got double your troop count. Oh, where are you going? You bastards. Do I have another army? Okay, so that army's fine. Alright, so they're fighting over there. That's great. I've got one army who's... Let's see, what's going on here? Alright, you guys. You have no cannons, which is fine. Oh, there's an 11k stack right there. We need to be careful with that. What? Actually, no we don't. <laughs> They've already lost that battle. Alright, why don't I send you over there then? 
We're kicking the crap out of you, which is good. Then we're going to chase down your friends. Oh, you're going to reinforce. Well, that's fine. No, go down there. We're going to go and take that, which works well. Um, the other army that doesn't have the cannons, I'm actually going to have you move out. And why don't you go unsiege that for right now? Okay, that army's dead. We don't have to worry about it anytime soon. Alright, we must stop the villains behind this, I agree. And thank you all for watching this episode. We will see you on the next one.